Now, continuing our Tech Byte series on AppGyver, in the previous part, we created our new project, we changed a little text on it, we added a button, and we were able to preview it in a web browser. In this step of the tutorial, we want to begin to add the logic behind this scan button that will actually tie into the camera of our phone and allow us to scan real barcodes. So what we want to do is we want to jump right in here with the scan button and we want to add some logic that will be fired when we press on it. So we're going to want to add logic to this button. So right here, press the add logic to button one. And this will bring up the composer of the logic panel. And inside here, you see we've got, you know, pre-built actions, if you will, that can be tied uh, to, uh, to buttons. You see, take photo, GPS location. Uh, later, we'll see some things that, uh, about the get records, what we call a service, show spinner, lots of common kinds of uh, actions that you might want to use. In our case, we want to scan a QR code or a barcode. So we'll just grab this and we'll drag it into our logic panel. Now, the component tap is what's going to trigger and we'll connect this up to the device action just by dragging and dropping there. And that's basically it. We're pretty wired up at this point. But for now, we're not ready to call our service yet. We just want to make sure that our barcodes, our barcode scanning works properly. So let's just trigger an alert out of this. So let's go back up here to dialogues and we'll use a, an alert and we'll drag that onto our logic panel. So pretty easy to trigger an alert here as well. And we just want to take the output of having scanned a barcode and bring it into our alert. And now we can bind elements in the alert. You know, what text do we want to show in the alert? So instead of binding it to static fixed text, let's say, let's take the, uh, the, the text for this uh, from an output value of another node. And the previous node was the scanner itself. So we can say, yeah, let's take it from the scan QR barcode. And then what data do we want? We want the barcode content itself. So whatever was read by the camera as a, as a barcode will be automatically thrown into the alert. So we can just save that and we will save our application. Now I, I could use the browser-based preview because I don't have a camera built into my laptop that's going to function like that. I really need to switch over to my, uh, to my phone I've got an iPhone and I've loaded the AppGyver preview application. And although I'm, you know, I'm coding here in the cloud and web browser, immediately I'm going to be able to preview my application there as well. So I'm able to uh, just go in and choose my application. And then you'll see the same sort of preview that we saw earlier in the web browser. But now when I press the scan button, it should bring up the camera and I can use it to find my way to a barcode. And once it locks in, it recognizes the barcode. I didn't have to code or design any of that. It knows how to process barcodes. And then I'll get a little alert pop up here that shows me the value of that barcode. Uh, so simplistic at this point because, um, you know, we're not calling a service yet or doing anything with the data, but it's pretty cool that in just a couple of clicks and a couple of seconds, we've got an active mobile application that can use our device's camera to, to read a barcode.